good evening uh this is a piece of advice to most of my family i know where your effect is or where your problems are uh, most of you people you do have land and you think that land uh, farming is supposed to be uh, near kampala which is totally very wrong uh like now people have been coming wherever i am uh let it be 200 kilometers or where or where or most of you people you say that you don't have time to, to monitor your work but look at here this is me my advice is make where you have made your farm conducive for your life you get so now this is one of my farmers actually uh when i visited he really wanted animals but he was always in rush i have to go back to kampala i don't have where to sleep i don't have what surprisingly this farmer made me really get amazed. Uh, I told him, you put something that you can sleep in. I asked him, can't you sleep in your car? He said, I can. I told him, this is your home. Kampala is not the only home you have. But where you get money, that is where you're supposed to make a home. So uh, that farmer was very, very good. And he told me, Amis, I will do what you think is right. So what he did, I told him to put up a simple house such that he can do his better monitoring system. So he decided to put up this, which is very good. Uh, I know most of you in Kampala, you pay to go and visit such kind of places when you're going to have your farm or something. He has decided to put it here at the farm. He has decided to put up a very simple structure here in the bush. You get he comes, parks in the bush, then sleeps in that house so that he can do his better monitoring. My dear farmers, your presence on your farm matters a lot. Even if you've not carried money, but your advice and your focus can definitely be promoted by um, your presence. You cannot be in Kampala all the time. You cannot just come in Kampala just in a second and then you run away. So that's why... I advise you people to put up simple structures. Never think big because that big thing will never come. You can't imagine uh, such a big farmer to have such kind of car and he's sleeping over there. It's not because he doesn't have what to use, but the passion he has for the animals, that is what he has decided to put up, which is very important. Now he comes. Over the weekend and he sleeps there, he goes back to his nation. So definitely, my dear farmers, me, I do advise you to have a close, close range and passion for your animals. That will definitely really help you a lot. I know most of you have invested a lot of money in farming, but you always be on phone. They tell you how many have died. They tell you what. You keep on hating the project just because you don't get very close to the project. So be close to the project, love it, do things that can make you love. I think my farmer really loved such kind of, uh, of houses. That's why he decided to bring it close, such that he stays at a point. So take my advice and take it serious. If you have a farm and you don't have your, the so-called house of yours, let it be small or what, but your house, not your worker's house, your house, where you can at least come and sleep over for a, a day or for a night. That will be very important. That is one of the best monitoring systems that you can have on farming. But if you distance yourself from, far, from, from the farm, you will definitely never get money out of the farm. So my dear farmers, take that as an advice and it will definitely help you. There is peace in the bush, but you'll have the peace as well getting the money. Don't forget, I told you, whenever you see your animal chewing card, it is manufacturing money for you. Now, you're on phone all the time. When will you also have a chance of seeing your animals manufacturing for you? You only need to be on phone. So, my dear telephone farmers, try to improvise and be so close to your farm. I think that is a very good advice. Good evening for today. I think I will catch up with you soon.